Professor Bonsu said his proposal is part of a strategic plan dubbed CSIR Rebranding and Visibility. Professor Bonsu also proposed a grant and project office where scientists engage in project development. R&D and technological information. The second one is CSIR Rebranding and Visibility. Visibility has been somewhat of a challenge for us. Individual institutes are well known, some are fairly known, but as, as corporate, uh, we haven't enjoyed that much. Uh, I used to have good, uh, you know, be a little uncomfortable anytime I went somewhere and somebody said, It's not a pleasant statement to hear because we are doing a lot. We are really doing a lot. What we haven't done, we haven't spent time to tell our story. That is, that's the challenge. So all of us, we have to become storytellers in addition to being scientists. The seven-member management board of the Soil Research Institute is headed by Dr. Andre Bationo, a soil scientist from Burkina Faso. He pledged, among other things, to improve the laboratory's IGF to win itself from governmental support. The Soil Research Institute is accredited with a accreditation to test for pH, lead, and cadmium. I will expect the laboratory to improve their internally generated funds and work towards winning itself. From government support, from government support. Board Chairman CSIR Governing Council, Professor Robert Kingsford Adabo, advised the new board to alert the council of any decision with legal consequences. The new council, the new uh, boards who will be inaugurated in take, take note of that we don't want you to behave like you are in a different entity from us. And there are certain things that we also, we met the chairs of these boards some time back, about two or three months back, if you recall. And we told you that we want you to also do things, take into consideration that there are certain things that when we do, when we have legal implications, please let us know before you get into trouble.